Mike? Thanks so much. A South Suburban man discovered a treasure trove of old photographs, and if a picture is worth a thousand words, his collection could be vital to the history of a culture. CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker shows you the snapshots he saved and why they're so significant. In this brown house nestled among the trees, and you just look at them, you'll find an abundance, you just say, wow, of treasure. Why did you collect all of this? That all belongs to Larry Thompson. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. I don't know, Dorothy. Dorothy, I, 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 I'm beginning to ask that same question. Somewhere among all this stuff, watch your step, that clutters every corner of his home. This is 1930 here. Daily Tribune. Is something he considers more valuable than anything he's collected these last 50 years. Yeah, that's just a closet they made of glass. It's just a beautiful piece. Nope, not that. This. He would take all these pictures. Is Thompson's prized possession. Oh, oh look at that. Photos, boxes of them. By 13, 14. And even more negatives. Let me see, what is that? About 100,000. Good, they're good stuff, though. Every, every time I develop them, I just have a, whoa, really? whoa. Yeah, it's one after the other. In some, you'll recognize famous faces, but most of the photos are less familiar, seldom seen slices of life from Chicago's black community decades ago. Oh, yeah, he dice. Shooting dice. Yeah, he, he, just, he just took pictures. He was just, he just took pictures. But to me, they were good historical pictures. But all of them, every last photo and all the negatives oh, wow. were nearly lost forever. Because they were throwing them in the dumpster. Everything. They were the people who had rented an apartment to Henry Martin, a former freelance photographer for the Chicago Defender. That's Hank. That's Hank Martin. In 2015, Martin was 97 years old and being moved to a nursing home. Thompson, who has a reputation in the neighborhood for collecting old stuff, got the call to take the boxes. And they had nowhere to put all this stuff. So I just brought it home. Thompson didn't know Martin at the time, but he visited him in the nursing home. He learned about his passion for photography and his love for Chicago. He took his time to take all of these photographs of people that uh, nobody would have taken if he didn't do it. The idea that all of this history was about to be destroyed makes Thompson a little emotional. I'm looking at all these pictures. <laughs> he did a lot of work. It's extremely valuable. Angela Ford created a website where African Americans like Thompson can digitize old photos. This is when we were voting Republican. Her hope is to rescue as many photos as she can that may be buried in attics, basements, or closets. It's important to save these images for a sense of self and a sense of place. It allows millennials and younger generations to understand the ordinary slice of life who we were, how we lived. Life. Just life. In the black community. In the black community. Predominantly in Inglewood, Woodlawn, Westside. Thompson's mission is to preserve the history Martin captured. He's talking about writing a book or creating a traveling exhibit to safeguard these snapshots. Children playing. Depicting ordinary people. Women at parties. Doing ordinary things. Having breakfasts and dinners and, you know, all the good stuff, you know. So we can all hold on to history. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. Now, Thompson says Martin died about a year ago at the age of 99. We reached out to the Chicago Defender. They have some of Martin's photos in their archives, and they say they're pleased to see the rest have been saved. This could be like a new Vivian Meyer where all those long-lost photos were saved. Uh, who knows this, we're gonna, where we're going to see these, maybe in a museum near you. Yeah, how special. Well, somebody has the eye like that to grab photos that are just so special. Uh, I mean, you and I would have to take a 1,000 photos to get one that looks yeah. like those, you know? I, I agree. Uh, just the ability thank, to capture it. Thank goodness they've been saved. Yeah.